Section. Introduction. In this section, we generalize the definition of language model features from one-dimensional to multidimensional features. We update the superposition hypothesis to explain these new features and examine how using multidimensional features reduces a model's representation space. We also create a test to identify irreducible features and apply it to some sample distributions. We introduce a method to discover multidimensional features using sparse autoencoders in GPT-2 and Mistral 7b. We identify circular representations for the day of the week and month of the year in these models, which is a novel finding. We propose two tasks involving modular addition in days of the week and months of the year to demonstrate the use of circular representations by models. Through intervention experiments on Mistral 7b and Llama 38b, we confirm that models indeed utilize circular representations for these tasks. Additionally, we develop new techniques to break down LLM hidden states and reveal circular patterns in the day of the week and month of the year. Our work builds on previous research on linear representations in word embedding methods like GLOVE and Word2Vec. We also explore evidence of linear representations in sequence models trained for next token prediction. Furthermore, we investigate the presence of nonlinear features in models, such as the use of fractal structures and polytopes. We delve into the study of circuits within models to understand specific behaviors, such as the identification of indirect objects in GPT-2. Additionally, we review interpretability in arithmetic problems, including how models handle modular arithmetic and basic arithmetic operations. Section Summary in this section, we explore the mystery of how language models, like those used for coding and reasoning, write poetry by investigating the algorithms they use. By delving into mechanistic interpretability, we aim to reverse engineer these models to understand their capabilities, focusing on both one-dimensional and multi-dimensional representations. Our research uncovers evidence that language models utilize multi-dimensional features, such as circular representations for concepts like days of the week and months of the year, bridging the gap between different interpretability approaches. Section. Definitions and Theory. In this section, we focus on L-layer transformer models M that take in token input BFT equals T underscore 1 L dots T underscore N have hidden states X underscore 1 L L dots x underscore n l for layers l and output log it vectors y underscore 1 l dots y underscore n when we have a set of inputs t we define x underscore i l as the set of all corresponding x underscore i l our main interest lies in breaking down hidden states x underscore i l into functions of the input features while this breakdown is straightforward if M is deterministic, we aim to find decomposable, interpretable hypotheses for constructing X underscore I L. We represent matrices in capital bold, vectors and vector valued functions in lowercase bold, and sets in capital non bold. We introduce the concept of multi dimensional features. A D underscore F dimensional feature of sparsity S is a function F that maps a subset of the input space, with probability 1s greater than O, to a d underscore f dimensional point cloud in r, caret d underscore f. We say a feature is active on this subset. For instance, if n equals 1, single tokens as inputs, and we have a feature f, that maps integer tokens to equispace points in r, caret 1, then f, is a one-dimensional feature active on integer tokens, with sparsity s equals 0.99 if integer tokens occur 1% of the time. To ensure features are meaningful, they should be irreducible. We focus on statistical reducibility, where a feature f is reducible if it is composed of two statistically independent co-occurring features, separable, or two non-co-occurring features, mixture. The probability distribution over input tokens T induces a D underscore F dimensional probability distribution over feature vectors F T. A feature F is reducible into features A and B. 
if there exists an affine transformation that satisfies certain conditions. We term a feature irreducible if it is not reducible. We introduce the separability index S, F, and the epsilon mixture index M underscore epsilon, F, to quantify how separable or mixture-like a feature is. Smaller values of S, F, indicate more separability, while larger values of M underscore epsilon, F, suggest more mixture-like behavior. We develop an optimization procedure to determine the reducibility of features and apply it to synthetic feature distributions. Additional details on this optimization process and more insights on these definitions can be found in the appendix. Section Summary In this section, we focus on defining L-layer transformer models M that process token inputs, BFT, and produce hidden states, X, underscore, 1, L, L dots, X, underscore, N, L, for layers L, along with logit vectors, Y, underscore, 1, L dots, Y, underscore n. We explore decomposing these hidden states into functions of the input features, emphasizing the importance of meaningful and irreducible features for interpretability. By introducing the concepts of separability and mixtures, we aim to quantify the reducibility of features through the separability index S, F, and the epsilon mixture index M underscore epsilon, F, providing insights into the interpretability of multidimensional features in transformer models. Section. Superposition. In this section, we will explore the implications of multidimensional features for the superposition hypothesis. We will begin by restating the original superposition hypothesis using our defined terms. The hypothesis states that hidden states are the combination of numerous sparse one-dimensional features and pairwise orthogonal vectors. We introduce a new superposition hypothesis that emphasizes independence between irreducible multidimensional features instead of unknown levels of independence between one-dimensional features. This new hypothesis suggests that hidden states are composed of many sparse low-dimensional irreducible features and orthogonal matrices. These features are mutually independent on their shared domain. The johnson lindenstrauss JL, lemma allows us to select a large number of pairwise orthogonal vectors to satisfy the superposition hypothesis. This enables us to construct the model's feature space with an exponential number of orthogonal features based on the dimensionality. The exponential reduction in the number of representable orthogonal features implies that models will utilize higher dimensional features only when detailed multidimensional descriptions are required. Sparse autoencoders, SAEs, break down model hidden states into sparse vector sums from an overcomplete basis. By minimizing a specific loss function, SAEs can uncover irreducible multidimensional features by identifying point sets with a low mixture index. Clustering dictionary elements based on their similarities can help in discovering these features. By examining the resulting reconstructed activation vectors, we can identify irreducible multidimensional features, especially ensuring they are not separable. This method has been successful in identifying interpretable circular features in language models, such as days, months, and years arranged in a circular order. Section Summary In this section, we explore the implications of multidimensional features on the superposition hypothesis. We redefine the superposition hypothesis to emphasize independence between low-dimensional irreducible features and pairwise orthogonal matrices, allowing for more efficient representation of high-dimensional features. By using sparse autoencoders, we can identify these irreducible multidimensional features by clustering dictionary elements based on their similarities, leading to the discovery of interpretable structures like circular arrangements of days, months, and years in language models. Section. Circular representations in large language models. In this section, we explore tasks where models utilize the multidimensional features identified in SEC, say underscore search. This helps demonstrate that these representations are crucial for certain problems. Drawing inspiration from previous studies on circular representations in modular arithmetic, we create two prompts that reflect common modular arithmetic tasks, the weekdays task and the months task. For the weekdays task, 
we consider the seven days of the week and durations ranging from one to seven days, resulting in 49 prompts. Similarly, for the month's task, we consider the 12 months of the year and durations ranging from one to 12 months, leading to 144 prompts. Mistral 7b and Llama 38b perform well on the weekday's task and excel on the month's task, as shown in tab, circle underscore ACC. Interestingly, although these tasks are essentially modular arithmetic problems with m equals 7, 12, both models struggle with basic modular addition prompts like 5 plus 3, mod, 7, equiv. Surprisingly, GPT-2, despite having circular representations, performs poorly on the weekdays and months tasks. To simplify our discussion, we define alpha as the day of the week or month of the year token, beta as the duration token, and gamma as the target token the model should predict, such that alpha plus beta equals gamma. Each task prompt is denoted by J, where the JTH prompt involves alpha underscore J, beta underscore J, and gamma underscore J. We begin by confirming that Llama 38B and Mistral 7B possess circular representations of alpha by analyzing the PCA of hidden states across prompts at different layers related to the alpha token. We conduct experiments to intervene on these circular representations using a custom subspace patching method based on activation patching. This method helps determine if a specific circular subspace of a hidden state influences the model's output. The intervention process involves identifying a circular subspace using PCA, intervening on this subspace by replacing the model's projection with a clean point, and averaging out irrelevant subspaces. We conduct patching experiments on all weekday and month problems to assess the impact of circular subspaces on model performance. The results indicate that circular subspaces play a significant role in computing gamma, particularly for weekdays. Early layer interventions on circular subspaces show promising effects, sometimes outperforming other intervention methods. Off-distribution interventions reveal that Mistral treats the circle as a multidimensional representation with alpha encoded in the angle. Section Summary In this section, we explore tasks that utilize multidimensional features discovered earlier, indicating their importance in computation. By defining prompts related to modular arithmetic tasks like weekdays and months, we observe that Mistral 7b and Llama 38b perform well on these tasks, showcasing circular representations. Through interventions on circular representations, we find that these circular subspaces play a crucial role in computing the target output, especially evident in tasks related to weekdays. Section. Decomposing Hidden States. In this section, we isolate the underlying circuit for processing weekdays and months by applying layer-wise activation patching to 40 random pairs of prompts. The results reveal that the circuit for computing gamma involves multi-layer perceptrons, MLPs, connected to the alpha and beta tokens, a copy of the token before gamma, and additional MLPs. Fine-grained patching indicates that only a few attention heads are responsible for writing to the token before gamma. However, patching alone does not reveal how or where gamma is represented. To address this, we introduce a new technique called explanation via regression, EVR, to empirically explain hidden representations in algorithmic problems. EVR involves explaining the variance in hidden states by combining selected functions of tokens. By performing linear regressions with these functions, we can understand what transformations the tokens undergo. We iteratively and greedily build a list of functions, interpreting the prediction errors at each step to add new functions. Once most of the variance is explained, we have a comprehensive understanding of the hidden states. This approach helps us identify what information can be extracted without training specific probes. Applying EVR to months and weekdays, which involve modular addition problems with alpha and beta inputs, allows us to visualize the errors using a residual RGB plot. This plot shows how errors related to alpha, beta, or gamma manifest as distinct patterns. In our analysis of Mistral 7b on the weekday's task, we observe a clear circle emerging in gamma, 
suggesting the use of trigonometry-based algorithms in later MLP layers. Our work challenges the one-dimensional linear representation hypothesis by uncovering evidence of multidimensional and non-separable representations in language models. We advocate for exploring higher dimensional features to better understand model representations and the algorithms they employ. By delving into complex circuits in advanced models, we aim to develop formally verifiable programs based on the true variables of language models. Our focus is solely on enhancing our comprehension of language model representations without foreseeing any negative consequences. Section Summary In this section, we decompose hidden states to isolate the circuit for weekdays and months using layer-wise activation patching on random pairs of prompts. By introducing explanation via regression, EVR, we explain the variance in hidden states by iteratively adding hand-chosen functions, revealing a circle in gamma suggesting a trigonometry-based algorithm in late MLP layers. Our work challenges the one-dimensional linear representation hypothesis, showing evidence for multidimensional representations that are non-separable and irreducible, pushing us to generalize the notion of features to higher dimensions for understanding language model representations better. Section. Limitations. In this section, we are unsure why we didn't discover more easily understandable multidimensional features. We question if there are indeed few of these features or if our clustering method is not effective in identifying them. We had to adjust our definition of an irreducible feature to make it practical. While our work offers initial support for the idea of multidimensional superposition, it's uncertain if this theory is the best way to explain how models represent information. We couldn't identify a small group of MLP neurons that carry out the clock algorithm, raising the question of how extensively models use multidimensional representations for tasks. Our experiments were limited to models up to size 8b, but recent studies suggest that representations may become universal as models grow larger. We express gratitude to those who supported our work.